Hello and welcome to Milo and Marcus Garage or this time Milo and Marcus Boat Haven There we go So as you can see we are still working on our boat This is going to be a long long project with uh, lots of stuff to do So today we are starting Operation Force Feed Basically meaning that we will if you see right there I'm just zooming on that for you you see that little sort of a chimney like tiny chimney thing little round thingy thingy wingy over there right there that is a pot that leads into two places one of them uh, sorry for that, Marcus needed my help. So, um, we will be force feeding fuel, diesel fuel, through that little intake. Because that intake leads to two places, as I said before. One of them is uh, the valves. And uh, the oil from there is just there to, you know, lube up the intake and exhaust valves. But the other hole in that little intake leads directly into the cylinder. Uh, and thus we can force feed fuel through that intake directly to the cylinder, bypassing the whole fuel system. Because we did indeed figure out what is wrong with this engine, and that is the fuel system. So what we are going to try to do is basically let out some let out some air from the system because we talked to an old mechanic old enough to be uh, you know pretty good with these types of engines he's like 85 years old so um, he knows this stuff basically what he said is that there is a high chance of the system having air basically it's just air up and the only way to bleed that air off is just to let the engine go crank it by hand crank it by a motor or just let the engine go and since we are lazy and we definitely don't want to just crank it over by hand hour after hour and we don't have an electric start on this right now we are just going to force force feed it start it and just let it let it go let it just run for like a small hour or something and then check up if that fixes the problem because we checked everything and we managed to start the engine by force feeding it basic force feeding it just as i said just feeding fuel directly into the into the cylinder so i'm going to try to mount you up on uh, something on the boat so you can see uh, our work because honestly there is no way there's no chance that I can hold you as in the camera while I am working on the engine because it's just too, too much stuff to work. <laughs> this engine is a bit of a uh, troublemaker lately. Uh, but yeah, as you can see the boat is still <laughs> afloat. It's not leaking that much. Actually it's getting slowly better and better as the wood is soaking in some water and as you can see summer is here. It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Truly a beautiful and wonderful time to be outside. But anyways, well, stay safe people, because uh, unlike our place where we are isolated from the rest of the world, because there's an island without any bridges onto, we have to take a boat to get here. And Corona isn't really here at all. Uh, but, well, otherwise, if you're living in a city, or on mainland, try to stay safe. I'm not saying don't go outside in this weather because I would pretty much think that would be impossible. But just, you know, stay, um, don't, don't come too close to people. You know, we two are we pretty, we don't really mind this because we, we are, you know, work together every day. But don't, don't come too close to people. It's, um, I think it's a good, good thing to do right now. It's, um, but better to be bored than dead, I would say. And you know, this is a wonderful time just to enjoy our long series of videos from motorcycles to boats to cars. 
So, without further ado, enjoy the um, start of this engine. Alright people, I hope you can uh, see me. Uh, I think you can see me. So, let's get this shit running. Well, all right, people, as you can see, something's broke. <laughs> cool. So fun to work on old engines. As you can see, something's gone to hell with it. Very nice. We will try to examine this. So bring you back when we do that. Okie dokie, people. As you can see, we've disassembled uh, this cover here. Unfortunately, the best thing that could have happened, happened. The chain, because basically, if you watch the video closely, the engine backfires, as in it starts the wrong way. And this basically chain and sprocket setup is made so it only goes one way, right? So what happened is when the engine backfires and started going the wrong way, this um, chain just fell off the sprocket, fortunately, because they could have gone a lot worse. We could have you know, had sprockets just broken and mashed up and we think that we are safe to say that um, this is definitely fixable and I think Marcus just just fixed it. Yes? Oh no, that's lucky. This is what happened. The chain fell off. Yes. There you go. Fixed. Yes, indeed. So, we're just going to Put the cover back on and try to do the exact same thing but be a bit more careful not to backfire the engine because that's not good for anything. Alright, bring you back once we uh, assemble this and try to fire it back on. Okie dokie people, so we've got some big issues. What we thought was just a chain that fell off was not just a chain that fell off. As a matter of fact, there are some troubles down there in the gear house. Basically uh, the lower, lower sprocket which this chain is, well it drives that sprocket, it's got problems. Uh, we think that the uh, ball bearing that's keeping that little lower sprocket in check is gone and basically it's uh, not really possible to to turn the turn the crank right now I mean it's possible but it's a it, it just doesn't work as it should so um, the plan is that we might try to save this engine by 
putting the boat uh, onto land over there and uh, just taking the engine out of the boat and fixing it on dry land because it's um, close to impossible to do it right here. So with this I believe I will wish you goodbye for today because um, we can't really do anything right now I and mean, there is a there is a boat uh, up there so that needs to be taken down for this in order for the, this boat to you know, be able to take it up on land also this boat has to be put on land and get some little repairs and service so basically um, the weather forecast say that uh, this lovely weather is supposed to stay this week for the rest of the week so uh, we'll try to get some work done on this engine and uh, well I thank you for um, joining us and uh, well right now uh, go ahead leave a like comment subscribe if you haven't yet I've um, checked my um, my YouTube analytics and 90% uh, of you watching are not subscribed so I would uh, gladly see some more subs on this channel could help us out get the word around uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and as always keep on riding or boating <laughs> see ya